Okay, today I'm going to be seeing how long a fidget spinner can spin in the vacuum chamber. So fidget spinners are pretty cool. You can balance them on your finger like this when they're spinning. That's because they act like a gyroscope. They want to stay in their same plane. They don't want to tilt. This is actually the same reason why it's easy for a bike to stay up while it's moving because it doesn't want to tilt either way. So it's easy to stay up when it's moving, but as soon as it stops, it tips over. So in order to test this, I have to make it a fair test and I have to know its starting speed. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to blow compressed air on it at about 60 PSI. And so it should reach a terminal velocity, a maximum speed based on the velocity of the air coming out. And I'm going to get it to its terminal velocity and that'll be my starting speed in air and I'll get it to that speed in the vacuum also. And then we'll have a fair starting speed between both of them. Okay, first we're gonna see how it goes in air. So this is in the vacuum chamber, but I'm not gonna vacuum it out. So let's get it to its terminal velocity right now. Man, these things just spin forever. And... Stop.
So the results of this are actually similar to when I did my pendulum experiment. So I did an experiment where I swung a pendulum in the vacuum chamber and I showed there was not much of a difference between the pendulum swinging in a vacuum chamber and the pendulum swinging in air. They both swung about the same amount of time. It only made a huge difference when I put a big block of styrofoam on the pendulum and then of course the one in air slowed down a lot quicker than in the vacuum. But for things like this that are pretty aerodynamic already, it's actually just the friction in the bearings that slow it down, not the air. There is a little bit of air friction that's slowing it down, but you can see that it's pretty negligible. If it were the air friction that were slowing it down, then you should see a huge difference between the vacuum chamber and in air. But that's not what we saw. So I'm a little surprised by this. Hi, thanks for watching another episode. I hope you liked it. If you're not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe and comment in the comment section with anything you'd like to see me do next time or any questions you have, I'll try to answer them and I'll see you next time.